theory X and Y given by Douglas McGregor. What theory X and Y says is that every manager has assumptions about people is in his organization or about his subordinates. So manager can ha have two sets of assumptions. One is theory X, one assumption is theory Y. What exactly is the meaning of theory X is that a manager assumes that people in his organization or his subordinates are not willing to work. So he's assuming it may, might or might not be true, but he's assuming that the humans, the subordinates that he has in the organization are not liking the work. So they have to be forced to do the work. They're lazy, they're avoiding work. So they have to be forced and pressurized to work in the organization. He's also assuming that the individuals are indifferent to organizational goals. Therefore, he has to tell them what the organizational goals are. He has to force them to achieve those goals in a certain direction. He also assumes that these individuals or subordinates want security and direction and therefore they need to be told what is to be done, they need to be told how it is to be done. This theory X applies to unskilled, uneducated and lower level workers because they are not motivated enough to work keeping in mind the long term vision of themselves and of the organization because they are uneducated, they are unaware, they are unskilled, they are looking for just pay for their work right away. So therefore, the manager has to take steps to force them, take steps to make them do the work. On the other hand, when we talk about theory by the assumptions that the manager has are the following. Number one, humans enjoy work. So he's assuming that the subordinates enjoy working in the organization. Number two, he's assuming that the subordinates are committed to work. They're self-directed. They need not be directed and they're self-controlled. So they need not be told what is to be done and how it is to be done. They're self-controlled, they're self-directed and they're very committed to the work that they're doing. At the same time, they're also committed to organizational goals that the organization has given them. They're creative in their work. Therefore, they're always looking for something new in the organization. They're always looking for new problems as well as new solutions to those problems in the organization. And this theory Y applies to educated and skilled workers in the organization. This is what is theory X and theory Y given by Douglas McGregor. It's very simple to understand. There is no rocket science in this. It is based on manager's assumptions about his subordinates and not anything else. How it links with motivation is that based on the assumptions that a manager makes, he's going to apply the motivation theory different motivation theories to motivate individuals. So if a manager assumes that his subordinates are following theory X, then he will apply the basic motivational uh, elements like giving out salaries, giving out more pays, or by giving out more safety of work, giving out more security of work. So the lower order needs are what are going to satisfy the theory X workers. But if, if, if the manager assumes that the subordinates are following theory Y, the subordinates are always looking for work, are always creative, then the higher order needs are what is going to satisfy the workers and the manager is going to change his motivation tactics based on the assumptions that he makes about his subordinates.